Darwin's weekend underwater drive has been submitted to the Guinness Book of Records as a world first. Although the group of drivers failed to cross the harbour, they did manage to drive their four-wheel drive more than three kilometres across the bottom. It was clear early on Saturday morning that the attempt would not be easy. Strong southeasterly winds were whipping up choppy seas and making conditions cold and unpleasant. The wind had been blowing strongly for several days, pushing muddy water out from the river mouth and drastically reducing visibility in the harbour. And that was to be the eventual undoing of the crossing attempt. But not before the bizarre venture got off to a flying start. For the first four kilometres, the four-wheel drive ploughed along the bottom at a rate of knots. It became bogged several times, but dumping ballast soon had it rolling again. Then disaster struck. In 30 metres of water and in almost total darkness, the vehicle crashed into a rock ledge, stalling the engine and damaging the starter motor. It was all over. The vehicle was floated to near the surface with giant airbags and towed back towards the shore. They hadn't crossed the harbour, but they'd certainly scored a world first. And a large crowd at the casino, most of whom had waited all afternoon, let the divers know they weren't in the least bit disappointed in this achievement. They were thrilled by the sight of the Toyota appearing from the depths and many lent a hand to drag it up onto Mindel Beach. The 3.2 kilometre underwater drive was submitted to the Guinness Book of Records today for recognition. Organisers Tim Proctor and Dave Roberts were going to leave it at that, but their sponsors were so impressed by this run, they've said let's do it again next year. And they will, this time with a compressed air starter motor that shouldn't fail. Jody Robb, News at 7.